Hootie Hoo, everyone. I'm Carla Hall, one of the co-hosts on ABC's The Chew. As a top chef and author, I am truly committed to the idea of health and balance in everyday life. It's not a tricky equation. Healthy eating contributes to a strong mind and body. You just can't succeed without a strong knowledge of math, and eating the right foods, well, that just makes good sense. Now, I'm sure the most common question students ask all of their math teachers is, when will I ever need to use math? The answer is every single day. Even when you don't think you're using your math skills, you're likely in some way, shape, or form using math. From measuring ingredients to managing food costs, there is certainly a lot of math in a chef's future. But the goal of so many chefs is to run their own restaurant. Believe me, you can't do that successfully by merely being able to cook a delicious dish. So today, we're going to find out just how important math is in the kitchen. We're at the Institute of Culinary Education, New York City's largest and most active center for culinary education, which to date has helped over 10,000 students find their culinary voice. And with the help of three of their amazing chef instructors, we're going to challenge three culinary art students from Manhattan's Food and Finance High School. Now let's go meet them all. Hey guys, how are you? Hey, Hi, Carla. Carla. It's really great to see you. This is such a cool kitchen. It's so great to be here. I understand that you all are at the Food and Finance High School here in Manhattan, and you are all wanting to have culinary careers. So tell me a little bit about yourselves. I'm Diamond. I'm 15 years old from Brooklyn, New York, and I would like to be a pastry chef and open my own restaurant somewhere. Ah, a pastry chef and a restaurant. So why do you like pastry so much? Because I feel like it's a highlight to anyone's day. I agree. <laughs> and, and how about you? I'm Leanna. I'm 15 years old, and I'm from Queens, New York. And after I graduate from college, I want to open my own restaurant. Do you have any idea how you're going to need math when you do that big venture of opening your restaurant? Yeah. Math is like in everything. You need math when you're paying bills, when you're measuring stuff for your recipes. Exactly, exactly. I love that, Liana. You're, you're one step in the right direction. <laughs> and how about you? I'm Jacob. I'm a junior at Food and Finance High School, and I want to be a nutritionist. Nice. We need more of you. It's really <laughs> important, uh, especially in terms of healthy food, which brings me to tell you about this challenge that we have today. So what we want to do is to do three dishes a side dish, an entree, and dessert, making it really healthy. In addition to that, I'm going to add some math problems. So how does that sound? Sounds good. good. All right, so what I want you to do is to lift your cloches to see what dishes you're going to be making. Jacob, do you want to start? Sure. Grilled vegetable ratatouille. All right, grilled vegetable ratatouille. Liana? A grilled turkey. Payard with strawberry pomegranate relish. Ooh, that sounds lovely. <laughs> Diamond. Chocolate raspberry mousse cake. Ooh, chocolate raspberry mousse cake. We'll see how we're going to make that healthy. <laughs> All right, I've given you your challenge. Are you nervous? Yes. yes. I know. <laughs> but you know what? I have help for you. Um, there are three chef instructors from the Institute. I have Jenny McCoy, Michael Garrett, and Dahlia Jurgensen. They're all here to help you and to hold your hands. But Jenny, why don't you tell us a little bit about the program here at the Institute and how math is so very important. So the Institute of Culinary Education offers a hands-on curriculum in culinary arts. Mm -hmm. And afterwards, it's followed by an externship, which helps place students in the job market. Um, it's great because our programs are under a year, and in that time, we really help students find their culinary voice and fall in love with food. But as far as math goes, it's found everywhere in our mm -hmm. curriculum and everywhere in the professional kitchen. From simple arithmetic to more complex ratios, you'll find math in our kitchen classrooms all the time. You all are very lucky to have these chef instructors. They're going to guide you to making a delicious dish, and I hope you can measure up right here in the kitchen. Are you up for the task? Yes. yes. All right, get cooking. <laughs> 